Yo, what up, guys? Welcome back to our channel. I'm Nick. And I'm Jacob. And together we are the Shonen, Shonen Bros. Bros. And today we're going to be reacting to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 3, Episode 12. That's right, guys. And in the last episode, Paul Nutter finally got his revenge on his sister's killer. You know, he was able to defeat Centerfold with the help of Kikyoin. And, you know, because they, they figured out that while he is transitioning from, uh, you know, reflective surface to reflective surface, he is actually vulnerable to an attack. Because, you know, they weren't able to attack him when he was actually inside, like, a mirror or glass or something like that. Because it just wouldn't hurt him at all. So, they had the bright idea of throwing sand in, you know, these people's eyes and having them all look the same way by throwing that gold coin up in the air and so he was forced to go into the gold coin and during that time uh Paul Nareff and his stand slashed him and they were able to find out who it was eventually and they were able to kill him so they went back and uh, tried to confront whole horse and obviously this guy was like <laughs> he had no idea that centerfold was defeated so he just like kept breaking the glass and he was like yeah he's gonna show up any second now and Paul Nareff is just basically like, no, we, he's dead, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's like, if you want to check, he's over there in the field. You can go check. And Whole Horse is just like, okay, I'll go do that. And he starts running. <laughs> right. And like, he literally just takes a page from the, the Joestar family, uh, like textbook there, just running away. So. <laughs> right. That was funny. Right. But yeah, so, you know, the guy with the, two right hands is dead centerfold yep. a guy that was supposed to be hyped up by uh dio or even the um like kind of like the uh, girl that was or older lady that was with him right and he kind of as soon as they figured out his like secret he got folded like he literally got centerfolded yeah <laughs> that <laughs> he got bodied like because uh, and it you know it was really cool the the way he got taken down was both times was from like a speech for Paul Nareff and Kikyoin. He was like, you know, you can't have fear. You know, you have to like, you know, have this confidence. And both times he got bodied like twice with that slashing move from um, Paul Nareff's stand, um, which actually was the perfect stand to go against this thing because it's like a pinpoint accuracy thing um, when he attacks. So, uh, so uh, when he came up with like putting uh, or uh, splashing dirt in, in the in the person's eye, right, to create um, centerfold to bounce off and go to the next reflect uh, next like reflection and then like cut him mid slice. I thought that was really cool. Um, but I kind of want to talk about the end there with that one girl who's like obsessed with a uh, whole horse and she had like this like blood come out onto onto Jotaro and it was like this parasite thing that like embedded in his arm yeah I, I think it was actually Jojo it was a Joseph I think but or was it Joseph I'm pretty sure it was Joseph yeah um, oh okay but yeah you know the blood went on to him and we saw like at the very end of the episode it's like uh sort of like parasite the maxim ish like parasite you know if you've ever if you've ever seen that you would know but you know right. this, this thing like attached itself and it's like I opened up and it I guess it's alive now so that must be her stand right is she one of like the uh the people who was hired by Dio um maybe I like but you know that's crazy that whole horse wouldn't know right or, or centerfold yeah like how would they not know I'm sure all of them know like they're like who they who each other are no, actually no one no no actually i take that back i think there's i think all of them are anonymous right i think you're right because you know they i think i don't remember who it was that said it but it was one of the enemies who said like yeah we we don't really know anything about each other like our stands we don't reveal anything to each other it was um the um was the guy, the, the guy joe Tarot they, clapped right absolutely yeah, yeah. yeah that guy yeah so he said he said that uh that we don't know each other's stands and stuff the only person he really knew was centerfold that's the only person mm. but everybody else is like very much unknown so 
Um, yeah, actually, I'm not surprised that now that, you know, kind of talked about that, that she's uh, unknown to Whole Horse and all them. But, you know, it kind of reminds me of, like, the little, like, thing on everybody's foreheads. I don't know if that has anything to do with anything, right. but, um, like, with Kikyoin, with Paul Nut F, like, all those things embedded in their forehead, right, um, before, like, obviously they took them out and, and now they were, like, like, a clear conscience, uh, had a clear conscience now. But she just had those thing and it kind of, like, embedded in, like you said, uh, Joseph's arm. So... I don't know what it could be. It might be like a like a infection or something to like, maybe it's like a she can in, insert her um, her uh, stand like as a parasite or something into into somebody and like it like kind of like destroys them from the inside. If that makes sense? Yeah, that's interesting because you brought it up and I think I think you onto something there where it's like. Uh, it's probably the same thing that embedded into Kikillin's and Paul Nadev's head. You know, that parasite that was control or that was allowing Dio to control them. So, I'm wondering, does it, like, the, the one on Joseph's arm, does it travel up to his forehead, maybe, and try to control him? Um, right. I have no idea. Also, guys, um, I definitely want to say, Rip, like, for sure now, Rip Abdal, he's no longer part of the crew. He is now dead. Officially confirmed. Yeah. And... I don't know how I feel about that. I, I still feel um, a little weird about it. He was part of the crew, man. He was the respectable, honorable guy, you know, that, like, knew how to be humble in a fight, but also knew how to humble somebody, right? So, I, you know, I just sucks, man, like, that he's not part of the group anymore. He just added that that sense of, like, nobility. Mm -hmm. So, definitely rip and chat to the man, Abdal. Yeah, well, you know, they got to keep pushing for it. They can't take a lot of breaks off because, you know, they still got that deadline to go to Egypt and defeat Dio. That's right, guys. And, you know, this journey so far to Egypt uh, has been pretty hectic with a lot of different uh, villains and stand users. So it's going to be quite interesting what other stand users we could come across, you know, to see, uh, you know, on their way to Egypt. But if you guys want to keep seeing our JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 3 reactions, then make sure you guys like and subscribe. Click on the notification bell to be notified when we release new content. Also, make sure you guys click the link down in the description down below of all of our social media links and give them a follow, as well as comment down below what are the anime's openings or endings or the anime content you guys would like us to react to next. Thanks for all your support. Really do appreciate every single one of you guys. And now let's get into JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 3, Episode 12. Okay. Uh, cat. Uh, oh, this lady. Oh, she just knows. Oh yeah, yeah. Centerfold died. Yeah. Yeah, she's want to go go out there now. Or is she? Oh, what the heck? What is happening? What is going on? Is she dying because Centerfold died? she get the same wounds that he does then i don't know about that one <laughs> i yeah. do not know about that one like he was the one that did things underhanded i bro no. will you even make it empress card okay Wait, don't the cat man okay come on are you even gonna make it uh yeah what was that uh... then varanasi episode 12 the empress nena nena Oh, yeah. I remember she was, like, royalty or something. Mm. Oh, is JoJo finally noticing that thing? Oh, what the heck? That is... Hey, oh, dude. It looks like it grew. Yeah, what the heck? Dude, she is just, like, does not care. Yeah. 
Varanasi. It's really interesting to see kind of like the culture implemented into like this journey. Yeah, a lot of anime don't, you know, we've said this before, like they just stick to Japan or they stick to the one place. But yeah, so it's really interesting to see. Also, just to see the like the kind of like the agriculture and just seeing like the like just seeing like the, the architecture. Right. Also, the music too, it's like correspondence to where they are. Right. But obviously, with the JoJo's twist. Oh, oh. what the heck? D dude. Oh, uh, that is. Yeah. How does he not know something is up? That thing was huge. What the heck? That is that, that is literally not a bug bite, bro. He's not wrong. Well, okay, what is that, dude? It's gonna like like go crazy in the hospital. Does he want to cut it off or his arm off? Oh, is this guy? Uh. Yeah, this guy is shady. <laughs> yeah, this doesn't feel right. Yeah. It's that thing's gonna attack him. It is gonna attack him. <laughs> he got bodied, bro. Probably. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Dude, is this like infection on helium oh i don't like that dude what is that yeah for real <laughs> oh okay oh Oh, right, right, that's his metal hand. I was right, about to say. Right, right. You know, I'm not going to lie. I completely forgot he had a metal hand. Right. Oh, no. Is he really using what he always does? Mm, it's the girl on the bus. Nane, right? Right. Nena. Or, or Nene. Nena, yeah. right. That thing's gonna kill her. <laughs> Dude. What? How did she not see it talking? Bro, open your eyes! Well, I mean, to be fair, normal people can't see stands, right? Yeah, so... but She wouldn't be able to see it. She just hears the voice, so... I guess, I sorry. guess, but... Oh my gosh. She would still... Still, though, she was, like, closing her eyes, bro. I'm like... <laughs> This man grew swole. What? Has he been lifting? Bro. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Duh, and now he's stuck there. Dude, this thing is a massive troll. Oh, oh Hamon. Oh, yeah. We haven't seen Hamon in a long time. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I mean, he needs to go find the rest of his squad, but he's not able to go back to the hotel now. Right. Because the police would be surrounding it. Oh, he's going to see Joseph. Yeah, okay, dude. Dude, look, 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 bro. So he's gonna run into Palm Nut F. Mm -hmm. Okay. D and the guys with the rug at the perfect time, of course, dude. Look at that. They don't see each other. Bruh. Is he eating through the cloth? Probably. 
It it oh, what the? Where did they get all that food, dude? It's, it was stuck under the cloth. Yo, bro, what? Dude, like what? How do you get that thing off? Like, what do you do? I have no idea. <laughs> you might have to cut off your own arm. No, no, you know what would be perfect is probably, um, Jotro Stan. He probably is the best, because with those, like, little, like, things stuck, like, he would, like, peel them off with precision. So, like, wouldn't, like... Right. Dude, this is so weird, bro. What is this? Dude. You know, sometimes I wonder whenever, like, they're having a stand fight or something, what normal people see. I just want to see that perspective at, for, 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 like, one time. I think that would be pretty funny. Dang. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I mean, he's kind of lucky he has the metal hand that he can block with. Dude, what is this? Oh, they can see it. I thought they couldn't. Yeah. I thought normal people couldn't see stands. Oh my gosh, get. Stop. Okay, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, please. Bro, bro where's like, where's Kikyoin and, and Jotaro? And where is he planning to go? Bro. Nah, he's got a plan. Right. Right. What is that, oil? Okay, he's drowning it. Oh! He probably just missed. He has to find Jotaro or right. Kikoin or somebody. Nope. Right. Oh, what the? Oh, it's like hardening? Wait, what did, what did he put his hand in then? Oh, Tom! Yeah. Okay. That's kind of smart. Right. Just his luck. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. That makes sense, too. Dude, literally, a oh, dude. So, oh. you know, he didn't, he didn't use a picture or anything. He used the ashes to make a map of where to go. Right. That's big brain. Dude, <laughs> that is big actually, brain. Actually, actually five head. <laughs> yeah, like, what the heck? What the heck? Right, he just big brains you. Right. Right. He's always three steps ahead. Right. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. He said it, dude. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. He's going to rip it off with a stand. Yeah, you're dead. Oh, he got Ooh. bodied. He still doesn't know who the stand user is, though. But now, now he's got to deal with, like, the cops and everything now. And she's going to betray you now. Oh, what the? Oh! Oh, right, he destroyed the stand, right. so I guess that would kill her, too. Right. Um, oh, what the heck? Dude, 
What? Brother. Yeah. Facts. I mean, he's not right. You did get played. You can't deny that. Man, this day, Empress really thought, really thought that Joseph was in a bad spot. I mean, Joseph defeated cars. I think this thing should have been like, easy in comparison. Right, absolutely. He doesn't seem that affected by all this. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, he didn't expect it. He literally just saw a woman come out of her. <laughs> so he's like, well, what? Oh, no. Oh, no. Who is this now? Oh, man. Oh, dude. Joseph bro. is actually five head big brain, dude. Dude. He... Wow. I'm like, what do we, I, I can't, I, to be fair, I can't believe we didn't, like, just expect that from him. I told, like, for some reason, all, like, his previous, like, old, like, younger life, when he was, like, younger, he, like, was very smart, big, big brain. I'm just like, how is he getting out of this? I want to say I apologize to all the Joseph uh, fans out, uh, out there. I, I will never doubt him I will again, never dude. doubt I, him again. Like, I totally forgot. I, like I was thinking, like yeah, now he's gonna have to get help from Jotaro, Kikyoin, Palmerov, somebody else. But no, this dude just like doubled down and actually outsmarted this thing, and you know he was able to defeat the Empress and able to right. kill Nena. Dude, it's like we always just forget that he he killed off like all three of the stands, so. Or not Stan, sorry. He killed up all three of the Pillarmen. So it's like... Yeah. I, can't, I can't believe I didn't have more faith in him. That's on me, guys. <laughs> he, he, yeah. he legit made a map of the city out of, like, sand. And then... And then, and then like, proceeded to find where the tar, like, the little tar, like, jar was. And dipped him in the jar, like, the, the little, like, infection, like, in the tar pit. Mm -hmm. Oh man, that's actually genius. What the heck? Okay. <laughs> Joseph is, I'll say this, out of the three uh, Joe stars that we have now, well, I guess, uh, I guess Joe Tro isn't technically a Joe star. That's not his last name. But out of the three MCs that we have uh, had so far for each part, I think jo uh, Joseph is probably my favorite. I love the other two, but there's something about Joseph, dude. He's just hilarious. He's special. He outsmarts his enemy. Right. He's he's not the he's not the strongest, but he is probably the the wisest, the smartest. Right. Just the big brain. Just somebody who just uses his brain in order to like defeat his enemies. And then, and then when he does that, he's they're easily defeated because he's so smart. And then he did the thing at the end, which was so funny. And you're gonna say this, and then I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> I thought that was yeah, awesome. It, the the Joseph Joestar special. Yeah, yeah. That's his special move. <laughs> Next, you're gonna say this. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, this was a good episode. This was though. great. I, I love the. Uh, I love, you know, especially in part three, how we're getting focus on all the different characters right it's not just about uh jotaro obviously he is like the main guy for this part obviously but it's not just about him we're getting like entire episodes devoted to other characters we didn't get we got maybe a minute max of screen time for jotaro right like this episode you know the last couple episodes are about different characters i'm, I'm loving that dude where it's you know, they just focus on other things. And obviously, I love Joe Jerome, and I love his storyline, too, how they, how they have to save his mom and everything. But, you know, it's a nice change of pace to have, like, different characters in the spotlight. Yeah, man. And, <laughs> dude, it's just like, Paul it up. He's like, dude, you <laughs> pretty much at the end, Joseph's like, dude, you just took a huge L, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah. like you, just, you just got jabated, my man. You got jabated, like, and, and she died right in front of you. She mm -hmm. legit like uh, like a woman that was like possessing her came out of her body, and, and he just like wow. dude at the end he was so distraught he was like, <laughs> yeah, 
<laughs> so I was just like, dang, bro. He was just sitting there with no expression on his face, just absolutely broken. <laughs> dude, he th dude, he fought. He, he thought. Dude, dude, that's a neck, bro. He, he got his neck yanked for that, after that one. He got mm -hmm. absolutely jubated. Oh, man. That's just so funny because he dude. does have it, it happens to him quite often. Yeah, just just right after we had the we had the whole Paul Medef storyline happen, and he, he got his revenge slash justice. That happens to him. Come on, man! Like that is hilarious, though. That is hilarious. Yeah, man. And uh, man, I can't wait to see. Kind of, are they gonna stay in India now, or they're gonna go out of India? Because it looks right. like it looks like they were like kind of like reaching like the northern part of India. So yeah. I, I'm wondering what other country they're going to go from India. I know you're more knowledgeable knowledgeable on that, but I don't know where, where they're going from India and retrospect to Egypt. Right. So uh, they obviously have to move west where it's because that's where Egypt is. And I, I think they – correct me if I'm wrong, but I think they said that they're going to stick to land travel from now on because, you know, obviously the ocean wasn't working. They just got attacked overseas. You know, airplane obviously didn't work. So if they're sticking with land travel, maybe Pakistan? Pakistan next? And then they're going to move into the, um, you know, the Middle Eastern countries and maybe head down right. to Egypt that way? Uh, I don't know. That could be an option. Yeah, and again, we're, we're going to hear different styles of of music uh, depending on the country they're in i think that's really cool um and as well as just the building structures and more of the scenery which is also really nice um but i'm really curious now to like what stand user is going to come next because i feel like at this point they just have thrown everything at them non-stop no breaks yeah. and i'm curious if they're, they're like running low on like stand users to throw at them right how many do they have left i don't even know right and Obviously, we saw in the beginning of the episode, actually, that this uh, this old lady, you know, Centerfold's mom, it looks like she's going to come after them personally now. So I'm wondering what she can do. But she was, like, bleeding out. I don't know how she going to get there. Like, she was, like, yeah. she legit felt what her son felt, like, and that was death. So, and she was, she had, like, all holes in her face. So, like, how is she going to make it? She's, like, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, I just I think that she's gonna make it there, but she's not gonna she's gonna be like very tired and she's not gonna be able to like like she's gonna have like a big scale tag and then it's gonna be stopped and then she's gonna get body to get by Paul Lenef. Yeah. And then he's gonna have the like be like, Oh yeah, yeah, because you know, you had this son who killed my little sister, I'm gonna body you next <laughs> and then kinda go off like he did against uh Centerfold. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. It'd be a a nice way to kind of end Paul Nareff's storyline where it's like you know he finally got justice on everyone that deserved it yeah guys and we're really excited kind of to see the next country they go into next and just the different stand users that they throw at them um and as well just the music it, it's always been great but uh with, with these uh, new countries that they're going in but yeah, we're really excited to see what happens next. But if you guys want to see more reactions to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 3, then make sure you guys like and subscribe. Click on the notification bell to be notified when we release new content. As always, guys, thanks for all the support. Really do appreciate every single one of you guys. We will see you guys in the next video. Peace.